Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today as we explore the fascinating connection between your gut and heart. Did you know your gut might hold the key to a healthier heart? Science is uncovering incredible connections between gut health and heart health. Connections that could change the way we think about wellness. Let's explore how your gut impacts your heart and what you can do to improve both. Your gut isn't just about digestion. It's home to trillions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi, collectively known as your gut microbiome. These tiny organisms play a huge role in your overall health, from your immune system to your mental health, and yes, even your heart. A healthy gut microbiome consists of diverse bacteria living in a balanced environment. Think of your gut as a garden. A healthy garden has a mix of plants, but if weeds take over, the garden suffers, just like your gut, when harmful bacteria dominate. Why does bacteria diversity matter? Different types of bacteria perform specific jobs. Just like a diverse workforce brings unique skills to a company, diverse gut bacteria contribute to better digestion, stronger immunity, and improved mental and physical health. What is a balanced environment? In a healthy gut, beneficial bacteria outnumber harmful bacteria, and they work together to keep the gut environment stable. This is important because when this balance tips, a condition called dysbiosis, harmful bacteria can overgrow, leading to issues like inflammation, digestive problems, and even heart disease. So, how does your gut affect your heart? Here are three key ways. Inflammation, cholesterol level, and blood pressure. Let's break this down, shall we? Inflammation. This is your body's way of protecting itself when something goes wrong, like when you get a cut, an infection, or experience stress. Think of it as your body's alarm system. When it senses a problem, it sends out signals to fix the issue and protect you. Let's bring this home to how gut bacteria can influence heart health. Inflammation is like a constant fire in your body. An unhealthy gut can release harmful substances that trigger chronic inflammation, a significant risk factor for heart disease. When we consume animal-derived foods, some gut bacteria break them down into a compound called trimethylamine, TMA. Your liver then converts this to trimethylamine anoxide, TMAO, which can promote inflammation, damage blood vessels, and increase the risk of heart issues. A study in Nature Medicine found that individuals with high TMAO levels had a 62% higher risk of cardiovascular events, such as heart attack, over three years. Next, cholesterol. Certain gut bacteria can influence how your body processes cholesterol, while others produce substances that can raise cholesterol, thus affecting your risk of clogged arteries. What exactly is cholesterol? This is a waxy, fat-like substance found in all the cells of your body. It's essential for building cell membranes, producing hormones, and making vitamin D. Your body produces all the cholesterol it needs, but it's also present in animal-based foods like meat, cheese, and egg yolks. These interactions highlight the complex relationship between gut microbiota and cholesterol metabolism, suggesting that maintaining a healthy gut may contribute to better cholesterol management and overall cardiovascular health. Moving on to blood pressure. Believe it or not, gut health can impact blood pressure by influencing how your body produces key molecules like nitric oxide and short-chain fatty acids, SCFAs. Think of your blood pressure like water flowing through a garden hose. Too much pressure and it can strain the hose. Too little and the water won't flow effectively. So, these key molecules affect your blood pressure by relaxing blood vessels and improving blood flow, thus reducing pressure. Now we see how a healthy gut can support better blood pressure management. The good news? Taking care of your gut can improve your heart health too. Here are five actionable tips. One, eat more fiber. This includes foods like vegetables, oats, apples, beans, lentils, carrots, and broccoli. Why does this matter? Did you know that people who eat 
high fiber diets tend to have lower rates of heart disease. Fiber feeds the good bacteria in your gut. When you eat fiber rich foods, your gut bacteria break them down into short chain fatty acids or SCFAs. These molecules help reduce inflammation and improve blood vessel function, which can lower blood pressure and support heart health. So, what's your favorite high fiber food? Drop it in the comments below. Quick tips. Some easy swaps to improve your fiber intake. Replace white bread with whole grain bread or swap chips for raw veggies and hummus. Start small if you're not used to eating a lot of fiber. Gradually increase your intake to avoid bloating or discomfort. Two, add probiotics to your diet. Natural sources of probiotics are present in fermented foods like yogurt with live cultures, kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, and kombucha. Why? It matters. Probiotics are live good bacteria that can boost healthy gut bacteria and restore balance to your gut microbiome. They can support digestion, reduce harmful gut bacteria, and even impact cholesterol and blood pressure levels. Quick tips. Look for yogurt labels that say live and active cultures to ensure you're getting probiotics. Choose plain varieties to avoid added sugars. For a healthy swap, if you don't like fermented foods, consider a high quality probiotic supplement. Three, avoid processed foods. Yes, we are all familiar with some of these foods, such as soda, chips, packaged snacks, and fast food. Why it matters. Processed foods often contain high amounts of sugar, unhealthy fats, and additives that can harm your gut bacteria and increase inflammation. A major contributor to heart disease. Quick tips. Read labels and avoid ingredients like hydrogenated oils and high fructose corn syrup. Healthy swaps. Instead of sugary cereal, try oatmeal with fresh berries. Opt for homemade meals over prepackaged ones. Four, stay hydrated. Water helps keep your digestive system running smoothly. Why it matters. Water supports digestion and helps your gut move food through your digestive system. Proper hydration also supports the lining of the gut and allows beneficial bacteria to thrive. Quick tips. Start your day with a glass of water. Aim for at least eight cups of water daily. More if you're active or living a hot climate. If you don't like plain water, flavor your water with lemon cucumber, or mint. Five, manage stress. Why it matters. Chronic stress can disrupt your gut bacteria and trigger inflammation, which negatively impacts heart health. Quick tips. Some stress relief techniques include yoga, meditation, or even a 10 minute walk. Try deep breathing exercises. Inhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds, and exhale for four seconds. Create a bedtime routine to ensure you're getting enough sleep as poor sleep can worsen stress. Six, move your body regularly. Through engaging in activities like walking, swimming, or cycling. Why it matters. Exercise not only strengthens your heart, but also supports a healthy gut microbiome. Physical activity increases the diversity of gut bacteria, which helps regulate inflammation and improve overall health. Quick tips. Find a workout you enjoy to make it part of your routine. Even gardening or dancing counts. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week. Small consistent changes in your diet and lifestyle can transform your gut and heart health. Try incorporating one or two of these tips into your routine and notice how much better you feel. Let's bust some myths about gut and heart health. Myth one, gut health has no impact on heart health. The truth, your gut and heart are deeply connected through the gut-heart axis. Gut bacteria produce substances like TMAO, 
trimethylamine N oxide that can affect heart health by contributing to inflammation and plaque buildup in blood vessels. Why it's harmful. Ignoring this connection means you could overlook gut-friendly habits that could benefit your heart. Fact check. A study in Nature Reviews Cardiology highlights that elevated TMAO levels produced by gut bacteria increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Myth 2. You only need to worry about gut health if you have digestive problems. The truth. Even if you don't have noticeable digestive issues, an unhealthy gut microbiome can silently contribute to heart disease by promoting systemic inflammation and increasing blood pressure. Why it's harmful. This myth may lead people without digestive symptoms to ignore gut health, missing an opportunity to prevent heart-related issues. Fact check. Research from Circulation Research found that poor gut health is linked to hypertension or high blood pressure, even in individuals without digestive symptoms. Myth 3. Probiotics are only good for digestion, not heart health. The truth. Certain probiotics can reduce cholesterol levels and inflammation, both of which are major risk factors for heart disease. Probiotics also improve the gut's ability to regulate blood pressure. Why? It's harmful. Overlooking the heart health benefits of probiotics might prevent people from using this simple tool to support cardiovascular health. Fact check. A review in hypertension found that probiotics, particularly lactobacillus strains, lowered blood pressure in individuals with hypertension. Myth 4. Sugar only impacts your weight not your heart or gut. The truth. Excess sugar feeds harmful gut bacteria, disrupting the gut microbiome and promoting inflammation. Chronic inflammation is a key driver of heart disease. Why it's harmful. This myth may lead to a high sugar diet, which harms both gut and heart health. Fact check. A study in JAMA Internal Medicine found that high sugar consumption increases the risk of cardiovascular disease by promoting inflammation and dysbiosis an imbalance in gut bacteria. Myth 5, you need to cut all fat from your diet to have a healthy heart. The truth, not all fats are bad. Healthy fats like those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil are essential for heart and gut health. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish like salmon can reduce inflammation and improve heart health. Why it's harmful? Cutting all fat can deprive your body of essential nutrients, leading to imbalances that affect both your heart and gut. Fact check. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine found that a Mediterranean diet rich in healthy fats reduced the risk of cardiovascular disease by 30%. Myth 6. Spicy foods are bad for both your gut and heart. The truth. While spicy foods can irritate some people's digestive tracts, they often have anti-inflammatory properties that benefit both gut and heart health. Capsaicin, the active compound in chili peppers, can reduce blood pressure and support gut bacteria. Why it's harmful. Avoiding spicy foods entirely might mean missing out on their protective effects against inflammation and heart disease. Fact check. A study in BMJ found that frequent consumption of spicy foods was linked to a lower risk of death from cardiovascular diseases. Your gut and heart are more connected than you think. Taking care of one can have a significant impact on the other. Small changes to your diet and lifestyle can make a big difference. Want to learn more? Tune into our next video, where I'll dive deeper into key habits that keep your heart strong and healthy. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Go on and share this video with someone who's passionate about their health. Together, we'll take the first step toward a healthier you. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and take care. I'll see you in the next video.